Last weekend was a good way to shut down the glass. Um, what did you take out of that weekend, uh, both from a hockey sense and what the atmosphere is like? Well, you know, it was just a great weekend for Beaver hockey. There's a lot of alumni here, and, you know, fans of fans of the Beaver Nation, I guess you could call it. And, you know, it was just a great time. We got to meet a lot of people, a lot of people that were here before us, and that, uh, you know, started the tradition that we have here at the school, and, you know, it was just great to be part of. Um, what did you think of uh, Vance Ballstead? He's the longtime Zamboni driver around here, and even he got a standing ovation. What do you think about that at the end of the game? You know, no, Vance is a great guy. You know, starting the third period, uh, they were chanting his name pretty loud, and you know, I seen him shed a tear. I was first in line going out on the ice, and you know, it's just an emotional situation. You know, it's just Vance is a great guy. And it's it's unfortunate that we're not going to have him around, but I'm sure he'll be around somehow. You guys play Nebraska Omaha this week, and uh, they're coming off a big weekend. What can you guys expect out of that team down there? They're a very fast team. You know, their 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 adrenaline's pretty high right now. They're doing well. They uh, they have a couple of big wins last weekend. It's going to be a high tempo game, but we just got to stick to our plans and you know play the way we can play, and I'm sure we'll do fine. How do you guys feel like you're playing right now? We're all right. You know, we just, we were a lot better Saturday than we were Friday. We weren't uh, very pleased with their effort Friday night, but. You know, we just got to keep things simple. We know what we can do, and you know, sometimes we may have a lapse here and there in energy, or you know, just our system play. But we know we can do it. We just got to bear down and get it done. And last weekend was such a, a memorable weekend at the Glass. What did you take out of it? Uh, it was really cool playing in front of uh, tons of fans here that lived with lived in this lived in this town, and this uh, this rink was a big part of their lives growing up, and it was just really cool to do it in front of them. Have you ever played in any type of an atmosphere or a game like that? Uh, no, that was one of the coolest atmospheres I've ever been a part of. Besides, it was probably cooler than last year in the Frozen Four, just being at home and having the hometown crowd and be able to do that for them. That was really cool. On the ice, how do you guys think you played? Um, Friday night game, we didn't think we played our best, but in Saturday we thought we, we had the, something to prove to ourselves and we came out and played as hard as we could, and then the outcome was in our favor. It was a really good weekend. This week, you guys have Nebraska, Omaha, and they're coming off a huge weekend. What do you know about those guys? Um, we just know they're a big, strong team. We just got to do our best and uh, work hard against them. They like their hard forechecking and uh, just got to play hard and be smart with our pucks. What are your goals for the last uh, four games of the season? Just to win out and hopefully and uh, carry a lot of momentum into the into the playoffs here and uh, just uh, win out here. And that's, uh, that's the best thing that I think we can do. You guys feel like you're playing good right now? Um, I think we can do better, but I think we think we can do better. But um, we're not disappointed in ourselves or anything. We just got to play with lots of confidence and uh, we'll be fine. We just got to keep doing what we're doing. Last weekend at the Glass was a memorable weekend and you got the uh, last goal in the arena. What did that mean to you? Uh, Right away, I, I didn't really think about it, but uh, afterwards, when people came on the ice and people started talking to me, I realized that uh, it was a it was a big deal to a lot of people, and uh, I guess it's something that I'll remember for a long time. Yeah, there was lots to remember last weekend. It was such a really interesting atmosphere. Um, what what else? What other memories did you take out of uh, last weekend? Uh, I guess it being the uh, last day in the or the last game in the glass. I mean, it's where I played for the last three years, so it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it was kind of it was emotional for some people, and then uh, it's a nice change to be able to play in the new rink next year. You ever play in a game quite like that, where the crowd was like that? Uh, no, not since I've been here. I mean, uh, uh, it was a lot of people in the building. The fans were on real, and uh, all the alumni. I mean, it was uh, just a lot of people were there and excited about the game. How do you guys feel like you played on the ice? Uh, Friday night, not our best, obviously, but uh, Saturday, I mean, we play, I think we played really well. Um, this weekend, you guys have Nebraska Omaha team coached by Dean Blaze. Uh, he's an International Falls guy, just like you. Um, what kind of reputation does he have back in the Falls? Uh, pretty high rep. I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of North Dakota fans in the Falls just because it, it, when, we, when I was younger, that's when they were na winning national championships, I guess. And, uh, um, Kids, uh, kids I grew up with, the Corns, it's their uncle, so yeah, a lot of people know him and respect him. What can you expect from Omaha? Have you had a chance to scout these guys on tape at all? We watched video on them today. They, I mean, they're going to be a good team. We know that they've been beating good teams all year, so I think uh, got to just be prepared for them.